I got you some new Twitch alerts and they look like this. That's right, six colors, four different alerts per color, so 24 items in total. So you can decide to stick to one single color, have all of your alerts, or just switch it up. Let's say you use stream elements for your alerts. You would create a new overlay. You would add a new widget. That widget would be alerts, alert box. And let's go with follower alert. Click change video. On the right here, click upload. And from your desktop, you can just drag and drop the colors you want. It appears on the left here, click submit. And at the bottom here, let's emulate a follow alert to see what it looks like so far. We got a new follower. All right, not bad. I'm gonna make sure the layout is set to text over image. And since I already know this about stream elements, I'm gonna go to text settings, then to advanced, and then I'm gonna play around with the top margin values. Basically right now, our text is minus 50 by default. It's all the way up out of frame. So if I type something like 100, you can kind of see it appear here. Let's go for it. 300 and that's pretty good. While I'm at it, I'm gonna set the highlight color to be red. Okay, now it's time to test it. I'm gonna emulate a follow event. There you go. Again, with the margin here, I can place this wherever I want. Towards the bottom seems to be the best. If you want a higher quality, you can always drag this and make it bigger since the whole canvas is 1080p. Boom, boom, then customize the text. Change the font. There's actually a custom font here. If I go to pick a font and it's called press start to play and it looks like this. 